Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating a dialogue uh, widget in the jQuery UI. So what I mean by a, J, uh, a dialogue widget is when we click a button or carry out another event, uh, this doesn't have to be an on-click of a button, it can be absolutely anything. So it can appear uh, perhaps in the background while something's happening and perhaps an error might occur or it might just be a randomly uh, appearing dialogue box. But for this purpose I've created uh, somewhat of a scenario where a user would click a button to say update settings uh, that were listed in a form on the page. So when I go ahead and click save the first thing you see is that this uh, dialogue button has come up with a specific title and also some text inside. I've then created an OK button which actually closes the dialogue off. So when we actually um, when we actually um, click on the button, uh, this dialog is activated. Now the only thing we're creating is a, a, a specific div, and then we're going to add attributes to it. So we're going back to sort of jQuery roots where we will set attributes of a particular div. So we're going to set this manually, and we're going to set this manually as well. Uh, then we're going to change around a few properties because by default the dialogs in uh, the jQuery UI uh, are a little different to what you see here. You can see that we've got this uh, wiped out background here, and we can't actually click on anything on the page uh, as it's been disabled. So let's go ahead and start writing out the code. So I've opened up uh, my text editor. Uh, as usual, I have the jQuery UI uh, JavaScript library and the jQuery original uh, JavaScript library. And I've also included this CSS file from this theme here. So this is all downloadable with the uh, jQuery UI package. Uh, and you should be set up if you followed uh, some of my other tutorials in this series. Uh, we've also got UI.js which is going to handle the dialogue and the changing of the title and the text and everything and style.css as well uh, which we're going to make one simple change just now before we start and that is to set the uh, body tech, uh, font color, uh, font size sorry. So I'm going to set the font size of the body to 10 pixels to ensure that the dialogue box uh, is displayed exactly how we want it. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is create a div with an ID and that's all we need. We're not going to enter any text into here and we're not going to give this div a title. Now by default um, jQuery UI gives a title, uh, well will accept a title and the contents within this div area. So for example um, saved and your settings have been saved. Now uh, let's just go ahead and say save dialogue. Uh, now this would automatically pick up the title and the text in between and apply it to the dialogue. However this is going to mean that you are constantly going to be creating these uh, for different purposes. So for example uh, error and then uh, an error has occurred. So you'd have to then go ahead and um, show each dialogue depending. What I'm going to do is create a generic uh, div which is going to allow us to change the title uh, and also the content as well. So we can leave the title out of this and we can just create a div with a particular ID. In this case I've called it save dialogue uh, however we can just call this dialogue. Okay so we're going to need to create a button to actually activate this because obviously at the moment we have nothing on our page. Uh, this div on its own is absolutely meaningless until we apply the uh, widget to it. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, a button and I'm going to give this a value of save and I'm also going to give this an ID because we're going to need to use an event handler to see when the button is clicked so I'm just going to call this save. So now we have a button on our page that we're going to click that's going to activate this div here. Now don't worry about the positioning of this dialog, it could go absolutely anywhere on the page. Uh, jQuery will handle how and where this dialog is displayed. So let's go over to UI.js and let's start to create an event handler for our save button. So I'm selecting the save button and I'm going to create a click event for this and then a function just within this. Now within the function content is when we want to display the dialog. So this is where we're displaying the dialog here. So we need to go ahead and set this div uh, to be an actual dialog. Now I'm going to go ahead and do it by default and you'll see that we won't get the title and the description inside the dialog box. However, this demonstrates the basic functionality we have. So let's go ahead and reference the dialog. And we're going to say um, dot 
dialog and it's as simple as that we haven't supplied any options or any additional parameters uh, we've just created a dialog from this div so what that will do now is when we click save you'll see that we've got this dialog window open now we can drag this around and we can resize it and we're going to fix that in just a moment we're going to through each stage of the tutorial create this as you saw at the start of the tutorial so at the moment we can close the um, close the uh, div off um, we haven't got any additional buttons and most importantly we don't have a title or uh, a dialogue description or text that will be in our dialogue so we need to go ahead and fix that so inside ui.js what I'm going to do is because I've clicked the save button I can then start to set attributes to this dialogue div and then actually display it so I'm just going to temporarily get rid of dialogue and the first thing I'm going to do is set an attribute so attribute is going to take two parameters the first of which is the attribute you want to change and in this case it's title remember this attribute here corresponds to the value that we would usually put in here so we, because we're not including that because we want to make it a generic dialogue we're going to go ahead and uh, define a title ourselves and I'm going to just define this as saved so this is the text that will now be associated with this dialog. 